My name is Sofia Borges. I'm from Brazil. I'm a visual artist. I've been working with photography already, maybe for the last 10 years. And uh, more recently, I started to do experimental projects as curator, but uh, in the, still in the role of the artist. I would describe my artistic practice a bit uh, more as a, a, a philosophical investigation about matter. It's uh, what, what drives my practice. Um, it's not the visuality. The visuality is a consequence of uh, things that interest me regarding uh, the metaphysical aspect of an image. It's always been an investigation that begins with these problems that I face and I try to solve them as uh, works. Photography relates a lot with image itself and when I say image, I mean the image in the back of the eye. So they are very connected and uh, the, 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 per the, the imagetic perception that we have uh, drives a lot of our understanding of what is to exist. We are very visual uh, existing creatures. So for me to get to the heart of my problem, and create like this emptiness in visuality with such with sometimes very solid uh, photographs with large scales and very thick images and uh, uh, not abstract at all. It was an image of a vase in a museum. I was trying to achieve to show the emptiness of that um, existence. How could that exist? The problem within something existing and uh, giving that in the most realistic way the photography was helping me to get really to the right point so i was uh, photographing things that existed and trying to understand the, the relation with that with meaning i passed it to i passed it to a second phase of my research where i was trying to understand culture and actually trying to understand how is the gesture of meaning me uh, how we develop meaning not through materic uh, existence but through beliefs and uh, habits and gestures so i started to be really interested in culture in religion in theater and also then in second layer in reality itself as a way of a play or a theater i'm i'm very much interested in the last years of researching about mythology also to understand what is a myth regarding what is reality. And at the end, we can understand that reality is mythological. It's just because we are inside it, we don't see it as mythological, but everything we invent in uh, laws, politics, it's mythological. If an alien would arrive, he would see everything as a myth. He wouldn't see as, okay, yes, politics exists, uh, football, exists. No, it's a, it's invention of meaning over things. So that's why it has this name, the impossible history of things or the theater of reality. So in this group of images, you have the first degree images that are like the absolute, that it's a floating shape of a white brain in a mirror, glued in a mirror. You have the white chalk that is the face of a Greek sculpture. And then you have uh, the Heligare, that it is the face, is the portrait of a portrait in a museum. And then you have a photograph in front of uh, cropped images, above, uh, and all of that was in a carpet, and then I photographed all that, that it's a small picture. And also you have a performance that I used the masks that I photographed once, in a museum and I printed them like this size and I also printed the absolute that is this work of my also real size and I asked for performers to perform to become an image and then I have these new photographs that it's like a maybe four degree of images of mine becoming other images other images and uh, this very recent uh, practice I'm calling performance to become a photograph and uh, it's what really what, what I'm 
working right now and it's really related to the concept of theater and also of mythology. 